What up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! <laughs> uh, I guess if you uh, see here, we're looking at the uh, Snap-on tool tray. Part number will be in the description for this thing. S-O-S-T-P-C-A if you want it right now and you have to have it. But we're going to take a look at this and we're going to talk about this thing. So, um, you know, I just want to give you a little overview of it and kind of give you a little bit of what's going on with it and what it's like. And uh, let's take the full look there and then we're going to talk about some things here. So I guess we'll start off with the obvious, the tool tray. Obviously, you can see this is a roughly a uh, 28 inch three quarter ratchet that I have here. So you got about 30 inches across diagonally and uh, you have about uh, 25 inches on the tray height here or the tray space here, which seems to be plenty of uh, space, you know. Um, you can fit a lot of stuff here. I just have a few things laid out here, nothing too crazy. The mat is okay. I'm not super... Um, I think a rubber mat, this is a, uh, this is kind of a material that's like, uh, uh, like your drawer liner, but not as sticky. And, uh, let me just flip up a little bit of the corner, um, if I can. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's got like a resistance to the vinyl as far as like oil resistance and whatnot. But it's still, you can see here, if I can look in there, it's like a foam padding material. So, you know, that's kind of a moot point for me, I guess. The drawer is really nice here. I do have some stuff in here. Obviously, some Mac stuff. Uh, we'll get it focused in here. The drawer is really nice. Let me pull out some of this stuff here. Just had it laying in here. These little compartments are kind of nice here. Once again, more of the same drawer liners. Um, this this compartment right here, there's one, my, one of my complaints with this um, tool tray is, is that you see here, you got about four inches that you have to reach back into, which is to be expected considering the fact that, you know, that thing is only so deep. So, um, this drawer is only a, um, you know, like a 10 inch drawer or whatnot like that, 15 inch, 15 inches deep, something like that. This isn't a toolbox, so not a big deal. Quick releases on the slides here, so you can take the drawer out if something happens, but, uh, Obviously, I've got a caliper. This thing is your depth. Basically, this is what you can fit all the way to the back here. That's why I had that in there to kind of show you that if you have a digital caliper, that's the depth right there. But like I had it lined up here, you know, I mean, you, you can fit quite a bit of stuff in here. I just had some things laying in here, you know, pliers, little ratchets and whatnot like that. It's kind of nice when you're going to be working on a vehicle, you know, to do that. So... Let's spin it around here to one of my favorite parts, and I'll kind of show you the back side of it. Um, you know, because uh, the side's not that big a deal. <clears throat> but uh, look at that. I put that light in there so you guys could see. They have a, like, drilled out deal there, and then it's it says snap-on. Can you see that? That's pretty cool. It's it do, It's really hard to make it show, so I had to throw a light in there. But uh, we're going to talk about this side of the of the game of this thing. So this is what I think is really one of the most key points for it for me. Um, however you want to have it. Let's just set this in. Obviously, you can see this tray is removable. What I like about this tray is, <coughs> excuse me, is looking at the rest of the, the deal. So I was talking about oil resistant up here, but... You can throw all your oily stuff in here. I really dig this option versus any other trays. It was one of the main things that I, why I went with this uh, tray is because of this right here. I always, when I've had, I've had a tool tray before in the past. The one thing that makes me angry is, is that I end up getting it slimy and nasty and whatnot. This will keep that from happening. And that's what really drove me to buying this thing because I can make sure that all most of my bolts and stuff like that that are oily and whatnot can go in there. Um, the, the trays over here, or the holes over here, you do have a lot of uh, screwdriver holes that can go in here. I will tell you, if you have Matco Comfort Grip Ratchets, they will not fit in any of these. Uh, the Snap-ons fit, the Max fit, um, and non-Comfort Grip handles fit. So, but, <laughs> let me just show you the... <laughs> Matco comfort grip handles 
they fit. Oh, wait. They fit, but the heads don't fit. So I guess we got a socket on there, but the heads are too narrow. That's the, that's the thing. The, the handles fit, but the heads are too narrow. Let me just show you. Do this one-handed. Come on. All right. So I'll try to do this one-handed. Oh, I guess they barely do fit. I might take that back. So they set down in there like that, I guess. I never even, I never let it fall because it went down in there so far. I take that back. I just tried it, and I was like, oh, this isn't going to fit. And I didn't think it was going to stop, but it does. Three-eighths does. A quarter inch will not. I did try the quarter inch. Let me show you that. Quarter inch is obviously going to fall through there. Quarter inch is too big for there. So, but obviously it's not going to fit. It'll go right through any of these. Take that out. That might fit in there. Liar again. Oh, yeah. No. That one will definitely fall out. <laughs> so, anyways, for you Mako guys. Sorry. Sorry, Charlie. This one, the 3 eighths will fit. Half inch probably definitely won't if you got a comfort grip. So, sorry about all the noise. Anyways, moving on. So, a couple of key things about this is it does have a crank. Now, a lot of you are probably saying, CP, why do I need a crank? Well, when these tool trays get heavy, um, they have a, you have to crank it up. Another thing I like is, is this has got a pad on it. It's a padded end in it. This, um, if you have it, you're pushing it in the car. You don't want to bump it or scuff it like that. The width of these are also really nice. And you've noticed that these steel tubes are pretty heavy. But this width right here between there and there is 25 inches, which is pretty wide. I don't think most carts are that wide. This basket is really nice. I really enjoy the fact that I just have a few things showing you how big of a basket it is down there. So you can set parts, whatnot like that. Definitely handy. It has brakes on this side of the cart only. This side is not braking. It's just open. It's freewheel. But they do have some nice, excuse my piglets. <laughs> they do have some nice brakes right there. Just using my toes because I'm, you know, obviously in my house. Uh, and the knob right there, you have to sure that tighten that up um, to make sure that this stays st sturdy. I will tell you that. It is a nice heavy-duty knurled knob right there. Um, but you want to make sure that that's tightened up if you want the cart top to be sturdy. Otherwise, it will wobble a little bit, like shake back and forth. So, <clears throat> for the most part, um, what other things that I want to talk about? The negatives on this for me off the bat where the, the height is only 48 inches guys so this cart will only raise to 48 inches when you crank it up um let's just kind of get it back here will only raise up to 48 inches i think the cart is a great and i it's it's a it's one of the nicest ones and it is it, it was expensive I'm not gonna lie to you this is not a cheap cart and if you guys are Faint at heart when it comes to spending money, then you probably aren't going to be happy with this. I don't care. Quite frankly, I look for value and quality. And this cart, to me, is one of the best values and quality out there. The metal alone on the thickness, if you guys look at the edges of this thing, this thing has a very thick steel to it. It's got tube steel down here, not just little square angle pieces. Uh, this thing is sturdy, 125 pound capacity i should have showed you that 125 pound capacity it's gonna do it let me get you hard to get these when you got lights everywhere anyways this says 125 pound there you go 125 pound capacity on the tray i definitely don't think that that's i think you can definitely get more this is not a this is a sturdy tray with with the way the thickness of the steel is, this is no joke. Um, the removable tray in there, the padding. This arm right here, if you see, this is held down with six, five 17 millimeter bolts. And it's bolted through the basket to the bottom of the frame. And then up here, it is also pretty thick underneath the bolts and everything that it has on there. So... You know, I, I think it's a great cart for the money, in my opinion, because this is going to be my last cart. It was the first and last one I bought. 
I had bent a ATD style one, and uh, honestly, it was a piece of crap, which is pretty much 90% of them out there are Sun X, Monster. Uh, they're all the same. They're all cheap, <clears throat> cheap ones, and uh, I bent one, just uh, had too much weight on it. I don't think I'm going to do that with this one. It is pretty sturdy, and uh, I don't plan on putting too much weight on it, but... At the end of the day, I'm pretty happy with my purchase, honestly. And the more I get it to use it, I will let you guys update and let you know. But uh, anyways, that's the video if I got for you. Snap-on Wednesday. The Snap-on S-O-S-T-P-C-A. Uh, they do have another one that goes higher. And a new. And, and I want to let you know that too. There's another model of this. It is more expensive. It's another $100 dollars. It's called the SOSTPC Plus, and it actually raises higher to like 54 inches. It's for heavy-duty trucks. This is considered a medium-duty, and it also angles and tilts. I opted out for that one because I don't work on that many trucks, and quite frankly, I'm okay with not having this underneath the hood of a car all the time with me because I take up enough space. But Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed this video, I appreciate it. Appreciate it. Remember to like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.